All right, so I'm going to go in with my primer. I'm using Australis primer. So attractive right now. Let's give that a minute. So shiny. Let's give that a minute. I'm going to go in with under eye concealer. Rimmel's Match Perfection um, Two in One Concealer and Highlighter. I'm using Soft Beige. Great for under eye circles what I'm after is color correcting so slap it on I bring my concealer all the way out to here because I'm generally dark circles all around this area so I'm literally painting this on and then I'm gonna go in with my finger and pat it in, blend it out. Now, if I was to put this color all over my face, I would look orange, but just around this area, perfect. It just balances out with the rest of my face pretty amazingly well, I must say. Maybelline Fit Concealer in number 20. Is this light enough? Uh, it's similar to my skin color. For under eye circles, you want to focus on brightening the um, this part here. All right, I'm just gonna leave it at that. There comes a point where you cannot cover shadows anymore. Kiko All Day Matte Foundation. It's not truly matte, but that's okay. It still works with a powder. To spread my foundation, I will be using a flat top brush, very similar to the Everyday Minerals flat top. I found a pretty much identical match on eBay for, I don't know, it was like a dollar something, including shipping. Perfect works perfect very happy okay so putting on the foundation i want to make sure i'm blending up into the eye area blending the eyes now i put foundation on my eyes because of the general darkness of my under eye circles I need that extra coverage but as you can see it is not matte I mean look at that I mean I've, okay I've got quite harsh lighting I'm not gonna lie but still it feels wet it's okay it's pretty good coverage that is pretty high coverage actually Blend down. <laughs> Why am I patting my face for so long? I don't know. It's just, I don't know. Just because I'm so shiny, I'm going to set my face with, set my face, <laughs> set my foundation with Stay Matte Translucent, and that's Rimmel, using an Eco Tools. I think this is like their um, lush brush, but. It's a brush. I can do whatever I want with it. I like this one. It does, it's not really, um, it doesn't go cakey. I think this is as matte as I'm going to get it. Not so shabby. Not so shabby. Okay, then we go on to the brows. Tony Moly Party Lover Cake Eyebrow, and I'm going to use this color here. As you can see, all I'm doing with my brows is filling them in. Now the eyebrows have been filled. Let's decide what look we're going to do. 
What do we want to do? Hmm. 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 Using Too Faced Shadow Insurance. When did? Is that too much? No need much. Yes. That was enough for both eyes. Good save, Natalie. Good save. The trick with um, eyeshadow primers is that you don't need much. You just need enough to make the surface tacky. If you put too much, it's counterproductive. It starts creasing on itself. I have just the color in my mind. Just the color in my mind. Wet and Wild Trio in Silent Treatment. The brow bone color. You can't even see it. I will admit, you cannot see it yet. It's a subtle effect. Can you see? I can't. That's okay. It's okay. As a base, I'm going to use the um, the eyelid. And I like to use my fingers. I find I get the best um, pigmentation that way because I'm pressing it in and then I'm going in with a fluffy brush pinky color I was actually thinking more of a curl okay on the brush tap of fixes into the crease let's do the crease Smaller brush, uh-huh. This is called a baby kabuki. How cute. How cute is that? It's the cutest brush ever. For the crease, I'm going for this real dark. This is the crease color from Silent Treatment. And we're just putting that right in the crease. The glitter I have in mind is called Newcastle and it's by a brand called Firene. Make uh they make eye pigments and they are awesome. I'm using Kiko uh, mixing solution. I'm gonna take this brush. So it's a angled round flat brush. That I got from the art store. Uh, take on Deerfoot. Pack it on. And as I said, I like to use my finger for the ultimate um, packing <laughs> of color. Quick review. Fire and I have this primer glue I don't know uh, that you it's called pixie epoxy and it's um to get the their pigments to stay on the eye and they say use very very sparse Where's that? and it's basically a sticky base and uh, yeah you'd put this <clears throat> you'd put this before you put your eyeshadow nevertheless we're going to be covering that spot, so it doesn't matter. And I'm going to be using my finger for the... Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Can you see the difference? Can, can you see the difference? Like, the gold is actually popping. Now what do I do? <laughs> That is such a big difference. Look at that. This side's like gold and this side's like more of a pewter, you know. How do we salvage this? Okay. It is salvaged. It's as much as salvaging can get. Let's clean up a little. Wash away the fallout. Okay. Let's um, blend this out. 
Look how much neater this eye is using the Pixie Epoxy compared to this eye. And it looks a bit crazy. Do not worry. I'm going to be blending that out. Now I want to bring the shadow underneath the eye. So I'm using the crease color with an angled brush that is slightly damp. We are then going to smoke it out with our pencil brush. All right, now to line the eyes. All right. Going in with a black shadow and an angled brush, I am doing a wing liner. Quite an exaggerated wing liner. I'm actually going to smoke the edges on the top of that liner out. And then we're going to go in with a liquid liner and define the top lash. like so. Alright, now for the bottom lash I'm going to extend the line out. Like so. Then we are going to line the bottom lash line with Avon's Super Shock Black and I'm going to tight line with it as well. So it's a very dark look with a pop of gold. Golden fawn. Um, I'm just going to pop that, some of that in the inner corner. Okay. I'm going to put my mascara on and I'll be back. Okay. So mascara is on. I am going to use Max Chromographic Pencil in NC15 and W20. Put it just in the middle here to clean up those lines, make them a little bit crisper. Whisk away any fallout. This really needs some contouring. I'm going to use my bronzing powder by Astralis in Sunkissed. Okay, now with a pointy brush, we're going to contour. I like to bring it up 
all uh, all the way to my ear. Make sure it's blended in. So I draw a line and then I blend it out. Switch over to a more fluffy brush. Blend it out. Now for highlighting, I'm using a very subtle highlighter, the Innisfree Korean brand. It's this, their, um, their golden toned one. I've got a, a, a pink and a golden one. Very subtle. Just, just there. Down the bridge of my nose. A little bit up here. Okay. Blush, I'm using MAC in Mocha. Why not? Just above where we did that um, contouring. Bring it onto the cheeks. Tiny bit on the nose gives you that little bit of a sun kissed look. Okay, I'm gonna go back in with um, the highlighter. Actually, I'm gonna use slight, something slightly more intense Mary Luminizer with a very light hand and a very fluffy brush. Now for lips, I'm going to keep it neutral. Chanel, baby girl, where are you? I want you. I've lost you. Here you are. I found you. Yes. That's the color we want. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 